In the 1950s, the Snaefell mine was reworked by a company called Metallifers Holdings Limited, and a gentleman called Doug Bannock, who he was an amateur geologist, and he came up here and realised there was sufficient lead ore and zinc ore still in the deads that had been dumped here that he could rework. And he formed a company called Metallifers Holdings Limited and um, reworked the dead heap through the 1950s. And in doing so, unfortunately, a lot of the original buildings from the mine were destroyed at that time and replaced with, with more modern 1950s type structures. One that survived was the building behind us, which is formerly the lead store, which was built in 1891 when um, they the mine the, the lead and then bag it and um, store it safely in here before they carted it down to Laxey. But if you look inside it there now, there's, um, the original uh, building was used by um, Doug Bannock and there's um, mountings in there for engines for his machinery, so it's like a combination of the 1891 building and 1950s reworking. On the other side behind me there, there's, a, there's other, other structures that date from 1950, like this large holding tank and storage area. The, the process that Doug Bannock and Metalifers Holding used was called the flotation process, which involved creating large tanks full of water and chemicals um, and large like, ball bearings that they tipped the, the deads uh, into. It crushed it finally and then the ore, the lead ore came out and the, the um, machinery behind us was mounted in on the beds and there you can still see it see in there now which um, had large engines and um, other types of equipment in there to, to work the flotation procedure. Um, but they use, from what I can gather, quite nasty chemicals so quite what effect that had on the Laxey River at the time, um, possibly not a subject to be mentioned. Mm -hmm.